Hello, Dork Squad. I'm Jonathan Cormer, and you're listening to Dork Tales Storytime, the podcast for kids and their pop culture loving grown ups. And this is one of our Anything is Possible lore stories. It's a beautiful day for a story, adventure and glory, new friends and old ones too. It's an excellent day to get swept away in a tale, so let us regale you. Jonathan, I'm so excited that I get to learn today. I'm excited for you, Reg. Can you even believe it? I'm taking art classes with THE Honey Bee Bearton. Do you mean the artist who made sculptures and paintings that have been featured in Once Upon a Time's most prestigious museum, the Museum of Mammal Made Art, MoMA? That's exactly what I mean. Wow. Yee! Getting me access to classes from Peregrine's Place of Learning and Educational Excellence was the perfect Jolly Holy Day gift, mate. I'm very happy you like my gift. Like it? (laughs) I love it! Which of Honey's classes did you choose? Painting 101. I'll be learning about watercolors, oil paints, acrylics, gouache. Wow, I didn't even know there were that many kinds of paint to learn about. Oh, but of course. We'll be creating dazzling still lifes, important looking portraits, sweeping landscapes, and so much more. That's awesome, Reg. Will you read this list to me to make sure I've got everything ready for class? Of course. Let's see here. Uh, sketchbook and pencils? Check. An easel, canvas, and paintbrushes? Check, check, and check. A painter's smock so your clothes don't get covered in paint? (laughs) Ha! You bet your bottom I have an outfit all ready to go. Of course. Uh, do you have this book by Honey Bee Bearton? Paintings Past, an exploration of Once Upon a Time's mammal-made art through the ages? Mm, Check. And I've already read it. Twice. Wow. Okay, uh, looks like those are the only things you need for your first class. Are you all set? Let the artistry begin! Hello, artists! Welcome to Painting 101 with me, Honey Bee Bearton. Or is it? Can we even call it Painting 101 when I'm showing you far more than simple painting techniques? That's right. In these classes... You'll learn to discover your inner soul. You'll connect with your emotions, sending them through your brush and onto the canvas. You'll grow to understand yourself and the universe beyond, peering into the ever-unfolding galaxy and shaping the creation of the stars. Okay, maybe not that last one, but we're going to have a blast. Your first assignment will be to pick the subject of your final masterpiece. But more on that later. First, everyone take out your copies of Paintings Past and turn to page five. Hey there, Reg. How was your first class? I've been so curious to hear how it went. Uh, Reg? Oh, uh, hello, Jonathan. Are... You all right? Yes. Really? No, of course not. Oh, what happened? Was your class bad? It was wonderful. (laughs) Were your classmates not very nice? I loved every single one of them. (laughs) Oh, then, wait, what happened? (sighs) It's our first assignment. Honey Bee Bearton gave us the task of picking one thing to paint that shows the world who we are. We'll use that choice throughout the class to practice and then create our final masterpiece. But, wait, that sounds like exactly the kind of assignment you would love. Oh, it's just that. How am I supposed to pick one thing? There are so many things that show the world who I am. Oh, that's true. 
and good. It means you have a whole palette to paint from. But how am I supposed to choose? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Tell me, please, I'll try anything. I've been thinking and thinking all evening, and I just come up with too many things. What if we found some of our friends and asked them what kind of things they would paint? Oh? Maybe the things they feel most represent them will help you narrow down your list. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, mate. Who should we ask first? Hmm, we're very close to Big Bad's record shop. Perhaps we can ask him. To Howl the Moon Records we go! Well, hey there, Jonathan and Reg. How are you doing today? Doing pretty well. How's business? Oh, we're selling out Branch Sisters records like hotcakes today. Oh, and this one. Soothing Pond and Construction Sounds. Oh, oh my. Uh, didn't Glimmer the Beaver just release that? That's right. She's been hard at work building and thought she'd record some background tracks. Folks are really digging the ambiance. Mm, lovely, lovely. And uh, would you say these records are you? And that if someone saw this record, they would think, Hmm, uh, this really shows me the depths of Big Bad's soul. He should really paint a picture of it for a class assignment. Uh, what? Oh, uh, sorry, Big Bad. Uh, Reg, you may want to give him a little more context than that. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> apologies. I'm taking a painting class, and our assignment is to decide on something that represents who we are so we can paint it as our final masterpiece. You know, after we learn all the skills we need in class. Oh, I see. That sounds fun. That's what I said. But uh, Reg is a little nervous. How am I to choose... So we wanted to stop by and see what you would choose. We think it might inspire Reg. Hmm, I see. Well, I think I would choose my cozy den. That's my home. Why is that big bad? I've got it all set up how I like it, right next to a creek. Using the secret art of feng shui, I've hung up all of my favorite art in there, and I've made a cozy bed from leaves and grass. <sighs> it's my happy place. I think people would get a real good picture of me from that painting. That's a great one, Big Bad. Yes, it is. I also love my hovel. And you did just weave a new rug for your entryway from some ferns. And I installed small acorn lights in there, which has really made it feel cozy. That's what I love about our dens and hovels and homes. There are spaces we can make however we want, and really shows our personalities. I'll tuck the idea away. Thank you, Big Bad. This has been very helpful. Of course. Good luck with your assignment. All right, Reg. Uh, who would you like to speak to next? Hmm. Wait a second. We're not too far from Midge's treehouse, right? You mean Midge the Pigeon? That's right, Midge the Pidge. You built her a house and gave her a brand new fridge. Yes, and we had to move the kitchen window a smidge. Hmm. I remember Midge. Let's go see if we can chat with her. Hello, Midge? Are you here? Is that Mr. Reginald T. Hedgehog at my front door? The one and only... Well, hello, my friend. Hello, Midge. Uh, do you have a moment? But of course. Is Jonathan here? Oh, he's down there at the bottom of the tree. Hi, Midge. Hiya. Uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Reg? I was wondering, if you had to paint a picture to show others who you are inside, what would you paint? Oh, <laughs> I've not painted much. Pretty tough when you have wings. Oh, of course, of course, but if you could close your eyes and imagine the painting. Hmm, 
I see Honey Bees Amidst the Trees by Honey Bee Bearton. Ooh, one of my favorites. Me too. Uh, but forget about that. Oh, and imagine a painting that you've made. Oh, I see. Hmm. 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 I see an arrangement of twigs. Hmm, fascinating. Please go on. I'm very resourceful and see beauty in even the simplest things. And I love that about myself. I think a humble twig really shows off that quality. So Midge the Pidge would paint a twig. <laughs> Doesn't really rhyme, but uh, I love that, Midge. Thank you so much for sharing with me. Of course, and do stop by more often. I will. Have a wonderful day. Here, take a twig for the road. Oh, I thank you. Oh, lovely. Just put that here. All right. Jonathan, catch me. Yeah! Wait, what? What? No. Ow. Ow. Ah. So, uh, how did it go up there? It went wonderfully. Midge chose an object that she felt represented her favorite part of her personality. Oh, that's a great idea. I agree, but what would I pick? A book? No, that's more you. Uh, a fancy outfit? Sunglasses? <gasps> snacks? You do love snacks. I'm devoted to them. But then, if I pick snacks, which snack do I snack on the most? Carrots, chips, berries, cookies. Don't make me choose. Oh, don't make me choose. Whoa, slow down, Reg. Uh, maybe we can find one more friend and see what they have to say. Hop on my shoulder and we'll walk to Wabbitson's house. You got it. <laughs> well, bless my soul. Is this Jonathan and Reginald at my door? Hi, Wabbitson. How are you and Sherlock Nettlesby doing? Have you and the great detective cracked any major cases recently? We're currently working on a case of the missing socks. A folktale forest resident keeps losing just one of each pair. Oh, oh, oh I hate when that happens. Ooh, that sounds like a very curious case indeed. But I have another mystery I need you to solve today. What's that, my friend? If... You were painting a painting to show the world who you are inside. What would you paint? Hmm, that's an intriguing question. Let's say It's impossible to answer, isn't it? Well, normally I'd say carrots, because I love a good carrot. <laughs> but now? Now I think, I think I'd paint a big journal of clues and a magnifying glass. I love solving cases with Detective Sherlock. It's one of my greatest passions. Wow, that's really amazing, Wabbitson. It is indeed. Sharing a painting that represents your greatest passion. You can't go wrong there. I'd say so. Thank you for your help, Wabbitson. Any time, gentlemen, any time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm suddenly rather hungry for some carrots. Ta-da! Uh, of course, good day. Bye, Wabbitson. All right, let's review the ideas we've been gathering. So we have one friend who would paint their home, a scene of a cozy den, and one friend who would paint one of their favorite objects to represent their favorite personality trait, a twig still life, and then another who would paint something that represents their work because they're so passionate about it. A work wonder. Yes, that's the long and short of it. Those are all great ideas. Is anything calling to you? I don't know. But maybe, just maybe there is something. Gosh, you look like you are really thinking over there. I think I am really thinking some thoughts over here. What are you thinking? Hush, I must think my thoughts in silence. Oh, sorry. Shh, Jonathan, please, I'm thinking. Oh, sorry. I'll let you get to it. Eureka! I have thunk! Oh, my. That was actually really quick. First of all, Jonathan, I have to thank you. This truly was a brilliant idea. Oh, that's great to hear, Reg. You're welcome. Now I know exactly what I'm going to paint for my marvelous masterpiece. You do? 
Tell me, please, I've got to know. Are you ready? Ready. I'm going to paint. Ahem. Uh, drum roll, please. Today! <laughs> You're going to paint today! Woohoo! Wait, I don't get it. I'm going to paint you and I on an adventure, listening to stories from our friends about all of their favorite things. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, Reg. We love going on adventures and stories. And most of all, friendship. I think our quest today really captures my unique Reginald pizzazz. I couldn't agree more. There really are so many different things that make up who we are, and so many ways to show it. And that's pretty cool. The coolest. What do you want to do now that you've completed your first assignment? I think I'll reread Honey Bee Bearton's book again. I just can't get enough. Oh, fun. I'll walk you back to your hovel, and maybe on the way you can tell me about the rest of your class. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. It was marvelous. There were so many awesome friends there, and Professor Bearton was delightful and so knowledgeable. Oh, my gosh, and I forgot to tell you, I almost sprayed paint all over my canvas trying to open up the tube. No way. Yes way. The cap got stuck, and I was holding on too tight, and blue paint nearly got everywhere. <laughs> Good thing I was wearing my stylish smock. <laughs> Anyways, once I got the paint all ready, I had to think of what to do, and so he brought in these kind of different things to draw, different mortal things, you see, and we were just... Hello, friends. Just before Jonathan jumps in with the credits... I want to ask you for help with my assignment, too. Please answer the same question I asked my folktale forest friends. What's one thing you would paint, color, or draw that would show the world who you are? With the help of a grown-up, let me know. Check the show notes for ways to reach me. Now, on with the credits. This has been a John and Character production. This story was written by Molly Murphy and performed by Jonathan Cormer. Sound recording and production by Jermaine Hamilton at Hamilton Sound Studios. Reach out to us on Instagram or email us at dorktalestorytime at gmail.com. Find links in the show notes or go to dorktalestorytime.com. Now, go be the hero of your own story, and we'll see you next Once Upon a Time. Dork Tales.